Hi everyone, Luca from lucagisbertphotography.com and in this video I just wanted to give you my top 10 accessories and equipment in photography uh, for 2013. Now in 2013, this year, I've used a lot of different equipment and I think it's probably been my biggest booming year in photography. I had a lot of work, lots of weddings, lots of photo shoots, a lot of happened and moved countries. Uh, and I had lots of great partner with uh, great manufacturer, which provided me some equipment for testing and review. So I really kind of had my hands on this year and I really wanted to give you what kind of did it for me this year. What really helped me to do my work. Uh, as a full-time wedding and portrait photographer, I take a lot of consideration in the equipment I use. It's got to, be, it's got to help me be simple, uh, easy to use and good quality. Uh, that is pretty much my free criteria when I look for an equipment. Now at number one, we've got the cameras. Now this year I've used a D7000, a D600, a D700, a D800, a D3 and a D3S. The one that really kind of stand out for me has been the D800 and because um, I think if you look at all the other cameras it's really be kind of in one line and little up and down but the 800 with 36 megapixel and the focusing speed and the, the quality of picture you're getting out of it has been my number one. Now number two is lenses. The uh, Sigma 35mm f1.4 and the Nikon 80, uh, 85mm f1.8 have been kind of my two contender uh, for this uh, top 10 uh, top lenses category. And the reason for that is because when I got the Sigma, I really wasn't expecting to get nothing much better than uh, previous Sigma lenses like the 85, which I had 1.4, or the 7200, which I bought and other lenses but it really kind of upped this game and the 35 has been one of my most used lens uh, this year. It's been incredible for wedding, great for photo shoot. Uh, it's just been great, really, really good lenses. Uh, I've not used the, Sig the Nikon or Canon version of the 35 1.4, but I can just tell you that I will not want to swap it for anything else. Uh, the Nikon 85mm f1.8, I think the reason why it came in that top two lenses I've used this year is because of the surprise I got by using it. This lens is so pin sharp uh, at 1.8, it's incredible. Please visit my uh, Facebook page, uh, Lucas Group, to have a look at some examples which I've posted there, but I'm sure you'll find some uh, in lots of different places, it's incredible. But the Sigma really had to come on top of this one. Now at number three, we've got the wireless trigger. Now if you know me, if you've seen my video, you will know that wireless trigger has been a big thing for me. I've used them, I use them all the time at every wedding and every photo shoot. Uh, I do have the old photo shoot when I go for just natural light. It really depends on the quality of the light, the time of the day, uh, but 90% of the time I would use uh, off camera flash. So for me it's extremely important that it's something that works well. And I think I had two different contenders from all the ones I've used. Now, just to let you know quickly what I've used, I've got to use Pocket Wizard Plus 3. Uh, I used a few series of Young Neos. Uh, the YN622N was one of them. Uh, Young Neo RF603N2. Uh, I've used uh, Pixel King Pro. I've used, uh, what else? I don't know. I've used the Photix Odin, but Photix Odin is not actually included into that. Uh, top 10 reviews because I'm still testing it and review it. So I uh, don't think it's no other top 10 is just known to this review. But the one that really kind of stand out for me this year had to be the Pixel King Pro. This thing has helped me so much this year. Ever since I got it, uh, it's just been incredible. It's so easy to work. Uh, it's like having a CLS system with 100 meter range, no misfire, and it even give you zoom um, zoom uh, setup, so you can actually test uh, set up the zoom on your flash uh, for for this. It's, it, it's brilliant. It really is amazing. Uh, the display is great. Uh, it's lighted, so you can use it in the dark and see everything you're doing. It's uh, 
take double A's. I mean, just have a look at my full review on it, but this has to come on the top of my wireless trigger. Pixel King Pro. Now, at number four, uh, it's going to be uh, camera support. Now, when you... <sighs> okay, so the ice light decided to go off, so I needed to charge it. Anyway, going back to my top ten, so uh, at number four is uh, my... Um, Okay, yes, camera support, so a strap, uh, you've got so many different things you can use. Uh, you've got Black Rapid, I've used Black Rapid, I've used Neoprint scrap, Strap, strap. Uh, I've used the Nikon one, original one that comes with your camera. I've used Spider Holster, Spider Holster Widow, and I think the one that really kind of uh, came out on top for me this year, uh, it's not the most expensive, it's actually one of the cheapest ones, is the Spider Holster Widow. Uh, I've got the belt, which I use for weddings, but the belt is very, um, you do feel it. I mean, you really kind of know it's there. Uh, putting a camera on top of it is nice because you've got a pad, uh, so you kind of stand on it. And it's true that when you work 12, 14, even sometimes 16 hours at a wedding, you know, every little bit help. Uh, however, when I do quite a lot of photo shoot every year, and this has been my go-to tool for everyone. I just put on my belt. Uh, I rarely wear something else than jeans or a t-shirt when I do a normal photo shoot, like a family photo shoot. So I don't need to wear anything, uh, you know, uh, elegant. So this, you just put on my belt of my jeans and it's a go-to tool. Uh, I can put my D3 with 70 to 200 on it, no problem. As long as your belt can hold it, it's fine. So that has been definitely a big one. Uh, so that was number four of camera support. Now, at number five, a uh, lighting modifier. Now, this can be an umbrella, it can be a softbox, can be a grid, uh, a snoot, anything like this. I've used, again, quite a few of things, but the one I always go back to is my Lastolit Easybox uh, medium size, which is 54 by 54 centimeters. It's a good square. Uh, I do have a video uh, on YouTube about it, so check it out. Uh, great uh, result, great finishing. Uh, it does have this warm color. You do can also get the, the white one, full white, which Joe McNally kind of put together with Lastolit. I do like the one which is a bit warmer, which is the normal one, uh, because it gives you that kind of warm uh, skin tone uh, to it, and I, I really do like it. Now, number six is continuous lighting. Now, again, I've used quite a few this year. I've used some very cheap one from a garage light to an iPhone to uh, the Polaroid and other ones, uh, but the one that has to come at the top is definitely the Ice Light. It is the most expensive one I've used uh, and purchased, but it is definitely the best one uh, I've got. It's actually just lighting me at the moment, uh, and I don't know if you can see it, but I know how soft the light is coming from this thing. And it's quite bright, and in low light situation, I'd rather use this 10 times than using a flash. It's so quick to set up, so quick to use, you know exactly what you're doing. Well, like any continuous lighting, but this really kind of gives you that softness, very soft light, great fell off, it's just beautiful. Uh, so that is my top continuous light for 13, 2013. And number seven, uh, uh, memory cards. Now, memory cards for your camera are so essential. I can't stress enough to tell you how important they are and invest in good ones. The reason for that, because if you go to a wedding, uh, photo shoot, anything, uh, having two cards slots while you kind of, you're on the safe side, but even then, uh, if you use a D700, which is a very popular camera for weddings and other professional work, you only have one card slot now. Putting a bad card in there, if the card is get corrupted during the shot or after it, and you lose everything, I mean, a photo shoot can be redone. If it happened in a wedding, I, I would jump, I would jump off a blue building if this happens to me. I, that's how much stress I would be. Uh, so for me, it's always been very important. And SanDisk Extreme, I've always been the one I've used. I've, used, I've got two uh, 32 uh, gig cards, CF, and I've got about five or six uh, SD and all the 8 and 16, a mixture of it, but I only use Sandisk Extreme, and that is because they just never messed up, you know, and uh, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, they've got also a very good software which allow you to, if something goes wrong, to go back into, I don't know how they do it, but it's got a very clever system in the background. So that is for my uh, memory cards. Now, number 8 is audio. Now, 
I am a photographer, so audio doesn't really concern me, but for my YouTube video, I uh, do obviously is very important. And if you look at my old video, remember at the, st the stage where I used to do the Bronizer method and all this, you'll see that you're probably listening into a, um, a cask that have only one here working. And that is because I was using an iPhone with a micro. Terrible sound, and it does really kind of put the quality of your video down if you don't have a good audio. So I did invest into a Schneiser G3. Now it's quite an expensive piece of kit, uh, especially for someone who's a photographer and not a videographer, but I really wanted to, to kind of uh, boost that channel and give something a bit nicer than just an iPhone uh, in mono into one here. So Schneiser G3 is definitely the audio to go for. It's wireless, I'm using it now. You can see it, so you just connect it and it just works. And the good thing about this is that um, just don't, I, I know nothing about audio and I personally don't really want to know or learn from it. I'm not interested in it. I just want to have something that works and give me good quality and it's simple to use. And that uh, gives me exactly this, so that's great. Now at number nine, stands. Now stands, light stand and camera stands are something I use quite a lot. Uh, I have a tripod which is a Manfrotto uh, 0x50 or 90, something like this, which I use only for my videos. Rarely, rarely that I use it for photo shoot or anything like this. Uh, I don't do much landscape anymore. Uh, actually, I don't do landscape at all. I just shoot people. And uh, tripod is just not the kind of shooting I'm doing, so I don't really use it. I do have one, which is great, but I don't use it. What I use a lot is light stands. Now, light stands are quite important, especially if you do uh, off-camera flash. And I started uh, purchasing the one on eBay for $20 from China and they worked okay, I, I guess. You know, you can put a softbox, an umbrella, and it does the job, it really does the job. But when you start investing into bigger softbox, uh, more ex expensive flashes, you do, uh, you have to be concerned if, uh, that if the thing is not steady enough and drop, it could break your flash. It probably won't break your softbox because it's normally soft, but it could damage it in some way. But your flash, which is quite an expensive piece of equipment, you know, is going to be at the top of it, you know. <laughs> and if it drop, which happened to me many times, uh, well, you know, if you're lucky, you won't get any damage, but unlucky, you could be 300 pounds down on your, list, on the, on your next uh, equipment purchase. So uh, having a good light stand is, is quite important. And I uh, recently purchased Manfrotto uh, 420B, which is incredible. I've actually got it here, set up on a boom uh, with the ice light on top. And it's, uh, it's so sturdy, so well built. Uh, it is expensive, yeah, it is not cheap. It really is expensive. I paid about 150 pounds for it. So 150 pounds could get you quite a lot in, in photography world or towards quite a lot of things. But at the end of the day, this is the kind of things, it's like a tripod, this can last me 10, 15 years maybe. And you know, if it's something you use a lot, just invest into it. it, it you do have to look after your equipment and uh, Manfrotto does amazing job with anything I've used. I use their heads, I use the tripod, I use the light stand. Uh, I also use last solid stand, but the, the, um, the one I got from Manfrotto, the 420B is really the best one I've used. I've got a review coming soon, so check out uh, for this. And number 10, uh, last is bags now, where you put your camera equipment, you know, your camera, your lenses, your flashes, your batteries, your memory card, everything. You need something that is solid. That I, during wedding, I bang my cameras around like no one does. I mean, I've got my bag in the bag and I just happen to run, you throw it on the floor, you don't have time. And you need something that really is gonna keep your camera, your equipment together is going to keep it safe and lower um, lower pro aid really kind of provide me with this i've got uh, about five or six different back from them but the one that really kind of stand out has been the 450 w is a big bag but in there i can put all my lenses all my uh, cameras and my flashes and i can take one bag at the wedding and it's perfect obviously there's no counting any light stand or uh, light modifier, but you can even stick, uh, I can stick my Lastolit Easy Box or my Lastolit Reflector at the back. No problem, that's how good this bag is. And this bag have, has been through everything. And uh, the only thing problem I had is about two weeks ago where I had one of the um, zip uh, attachment that kind of went loose and dropped. 
but that is all in quite a few years of using it. And easy to clean, this go this um, um, water resistant uh, pocket which you can put on top of it. So if it starts raining, you just put it on top. It is quite resistant anyway to weather, but uh, you can put this as an extra cover. And so that is pretty much it. So that's my top 10 uh, equipment use and accessories uh, for me in 2013. I hope this can help you uh, maybe uh, do a Christmas shopping list for yourself or for anyone who's going to offer you presents. And yeah, um, that is pretty much it. So if you like to put maybe your list of what really kind of helped you this year down below, uh, please do. And don't forget to join our uh, Facebook uh, Facebook group, which is called Lucas Group. Okay, cheers. See ya. Bina? Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? You want you want the lens? Yeah. 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 You want uh, a new camera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>